In this video, we are going to look at the free transform tool and Crater, a tool you can use to move, to scale and to rotate your layers and do things like woo, rotate in 3D as well. Let's see how it works. It's really part of the basic tools you really need to master to be very productive doing game art, graphic design, or even for illustration, it's very useful as we'll see. Anyway, when you have any tool selected, like the brush tool or a selection tool, whatever, you can use the frame icon in the toolbox or better press Ctrl T to trigger the free transform tool. From there, double check that you get this frame. If you don't get this frame, check in the tool options that you have the option on the left side selected, the free transform, or you can right click and select free, the first option, free transform. From there, you can click and drag on your character to move it. You can click and drag outside the frame to rotate the layer or the selection and click and drag on one of the handles to scale relative to the opposite handle. So if I click on the right side, I'm going to scale only horizontally and the pivot will be the left handle. You can constrain any transform using the shift key to preserve the character's proportions in this case. Constrain the move on the X or Y axis using click, shift and drag. And for the rotation, it's going to rotate in five degree increments, I think. One, two, three, something like that. You can also scale around the pivot. So the pivot for your transform is the target icon in the center of the frame. To do that, you want to keep the Alt key down and it's going to scale around the pivot. You can click and drag on this pivot when the cursor changes, it becomes a hand. You can move the pivot and when you scale with the Alt key down, you are going to scale once again around this pivot. You can also do a uniform scale around the pivot by keeping the Alt key down and then pressing Shift as well. So you can see at the bottom of the screen that I'm holding both keys. Note that you have to Alt click and press Shift if you want it to work. Right now, if you press Shift and Alt before you click, unfortunately, it, it doesn't work too well, so that's a small quirk. To rotate in 3D, you can control and click and drag outside the frame. It's a modifier for the rotation. If you click and drag, you're going to rotate just in 2D. If you control, click and drag, you're going to start rotating in 3D. Once you have the character in 3D, you can click and drag to rotate around the axis that comes out of the character, that comes out of the pivot, around the plane's normal. Now, uh, this 3D rotation is really useful to create some quick perspective effect to place an element on a wall or something like that when you are creating an illustration or doing some concept art. You can transform multiple layers at the same time, but it doesn't work exactly like in other programs. You have to select a group. So I've grouped my battle scene, and if I press Ctrl T there, I can modify everything together. It's going to transform all the layers. So if you try to select two layers and press Ctrl T, it's only going to transform the active layer. That's, that's why, so the layer where the name is in bold in Krita is your active layer and free transform only works on that one layer. If you want to transform multiple layers, you select them all, press Ctrl G to group, select the group and Ctrl T to transform, like so. One thing you might note is if you press Ctrl T and you are already on the free transform tool, this will not re-trigger the transform. Instead, you have to click to uh, reopen the frame and restart the transform, or you want to go to another tool and press Ctrl T. This is true as of Krita 4.1 and probably Krita 4.2 will have the same small limitation, let's say. Uh, then after you transform your layers, press Ctrl R G to deselect the group. So it might seem inconvenient as it is right now, but if you organize your document as you go, which is really recommended if you want to be productive with an art program like Krita, but it's true for Manga Studio, Photoshop, Affinity, Photo or Designer. You want to create these groups to group related layers together as you go. So you should have them in your hierarchy, right? 
One thing that's pretty magical about these tools in Krita and that you won't find in other programs that save a lot of time is that you can transform selections with many layers selected. So here I have my character, Roby, the cutout character with filters applied. I have all the different body parts in separate layer groups. And I want to modify the character's shape, say I want to scale the arm a little bit, but uh, I have the outline on a separate layer so I don't want to go and transform and update everything by hand. Well, I can select the top level group and I'm going to make a selection here. I'm going to try and make it quickly and make sure that it doesn't go too far beyond the character. I can press Ctrl T and I'm now transforming the arm but the interesting thing about that so say I want to change the angle in 3D a little bit, I want to skew the arm so when you have the double arrow on an edge, you can skew the layer as well. So there you go, I want this shape for the character. I press enter and Krita will recalculate all the layers one after the other. And all my layers have been preserved so I can re-export my cutout character and get the updated animations in the game engine in my animation modular animation program. It's extremely convenient and all that is non-destructive. To transform individual layers, you can use the R tool, the select layer tool, and click on any layer to select it. So when I click on the porcupine, for example, with the R key down, it's going to select the layer, then Control T to transform it. When you have multiple layers with that tool, you can shift and click with the R key down to select multiple layers, but this will not select the parent group, unfortunately. You can use that to group the layers. So I'm going to ungroup them here, Control Alt G. And so you can select multiple layers, but you won't be able to transform them directly. As I told you, free transform only applies to the currently selected layer. So you have to group with Control G and there's no way to manually select the group with the keyboard instantly or with that R tool, unfortunately, yet. Instead, you will use the page up and page down shortcuts, which I've remapped to Alt bracket on my keyboard to navigate the layer stack, but using keyboard shortcuts. So I can go up to my group doing Alt bracket, then I can press Control T or click with the free transform tool active to transform my entire group at once. If I want to scale all the characters because they're a bit big on my battlefield, for example. Now let's do a tiny bit of troubleshooting going a little bit further. One thing is there's some snapping available in Krita. So when you press Shift S, you can toggle snapping on the grid, guides, etc. Now the problem with the free transform tool is that not everything snaps as you'd expect. So for example, I'm gonna set the snapping to use the guides and the guides, I'm going to add some with the rulers on the, the screen. So I'm going to drag a ruler and say, I want to get Rabi's head to align with the ruler. If I press Control T to transform and I move Roby down, it's not going to snap like the top edge of my free transform is not going to snap to it. But if I scale, scale snaps the bounding box to the rulers, to the grid, etc. So when you are scaling, you can use snapping to its fullest. When you are moving, it's only the center of the box that will snap two things. It's a little unreliable at the moment. So I hope that we'll get bounding box snapping as well in the future, which would be very useful for precision work. But note that you can use snapping with the scale and you can use that to precisely scale textures, snap them to specific objects, snap objects to one another. You have snapping options for the objects bounding boxes so you can snap sprites together when resizing them once again and you can use the grid as well which is quite convenient. We have a video on grid and guides by the way. The last thing is you have the transform tool mapped to the T key that you can use to quickly move a layer around the canvas and you can keep the shift key down to toggle between moving an individual layer. So for example, the head here, if you press shift, it moves the parent group, which is quite convenient, but this tool can be slower and sluggish. So you can use control T free transform 
to transform the layer but a lot faster because it's going to use a preview of your transform instead of trying to move all the layers at once and re-render as you move things around. So be sure to use free transform in the cases where you need the performances. But that is it for this tutorial. So if you have any questions, please tell us in the comments. That said, and for now, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.